Recently, I stumbled on something very fascinating relating to candida, and I want to share this with you. Now, candida is a fungal infection. It's kind of like a yeast infection, and people can get it in their mouth. They can get it in their private parts, toenails, and it usually comes after an antibiotic as a side effect because you have all these bacteria that keep the yeast and fungus and molds in check. The great majority of your microbiome in your gut is bacteria, but you have a small percentage of this yeast and fungus and friendly candida. So everything is in balance, but when you wipe out a lot of your bacteria, you create more space for this candida to grow and become a bit uh, pathogenic. So you get itchiness, burning, fatigue, and various symptoms from that. You can even get cracks in the corner of your mouth. About 20% of the time, that's candida. And when I was in practice, I would notice that certain patients coming in had this odor of ammonia. And that's usually coming from this candida overgrowth. It'll change your pH, okay? It releases ammonia from the breakdown products of simple sugars. When you go up on the pH, you make things more alkaline and it can survive more. So candida can actually survive more of an alkaline environment versus an acidic environment. And this is why when you have this good balance of microbes in your large intestine, it's on the acidic side. But candida changes the pH. And so it does it through its primary fuel, which is sugar, okay? I'm gonna come back to that at the end, but I wanna share something very interesting. There's other conditions that lower your immune system that cause this overgrowth as well. HIV or AIDS, if you have an organ transplant, if you were on prednisone, like steroids, if you're pregnant, or if you eat a lot of sugar, especially fructose. All of them either create or have at the same time a vitamin D deficiency. So when I was looking at vitamin D, I noticed that it had an antifungal property. And when I looked it into a little bit more, I found out it's a really good, effective, broad spectrum antimicrobial. Now, probably because it really helps build up your immune system, your defenses, and all of those items I mentioned really have an effect on the immune system. If you have candida, there's three things you need to do. Start taking vitamin D, maybe 20, 30,000 IUs immediately. Number two, cut out the fuel for candida. Its primary fuel is glucose. If you stop eating sugar right now, go on keto, you can starve it to death. And three, start consuming probiotic foods like a little sauerkraut, kimchi, uh, fermented pickles, or maybe a little uh, non-sweetened kefir. So I just wanted to keep this video real simple, short, to the point. Great remedy to help someone if they're struggling with candida. And if you're not signed up on my private email on my website, drberg.com, I give away a lot of content that's not on YouTube. If you want to check it out, I put a link down below in the description. I will see you on the other side.